Good morning, everyone. I'm Ernie Coburn, President and CEO of the Salisbury Area Chamber of Commerce. Until next Thursday at 5. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Today is April 7, 2017. Mark that on your calendar. It is a great day for the City of Salisbury and Wicomico County. For nearly 10 years, the City and the County have been discussing the possibility of renewing a fire service agreement which expired in 2010. Today, it will come to fruition once again. The two gentlemen on each side of me have worked diligently and have put bipartisan aspects aside in order to best benefit the citizenry of, this, of the area of Wicomico County as well as the city of Salisbury. Nearly two years ago, I started uh, meeting one-on-one -on -one privately with uh, the county executive and the mayor, and those meetings, each one of these pages represents an agenda. <laughs> and on the very first agenda, on the <coughs> agenda was the fire service agreement, the 800-pound gorilla that was always in the room. And I pulled out my ink pen, and took it and flipped it over and drew the circle on the back. I said, guys, here's the deal. Everything inside this circle, the city will handle. Everything outside the circle, the county will handle. And they both looked at it and said, that might work. Well, lo and behold, some nearly two years later, it is going to be just almost that easy in a sense. Uh, you do see a map that's on display. Uh, it outlines a suggested area. Uh, further details will be forthcoming on that. When you take in consideration nearly 1,600 full and part-time employees between the city and the county and a budget of nearly one, in excess of $180 million, these two gentlemen realized that they could not go their separate ways and do what they wanted to do with their independent entities. They needed to work together. They need to run the city and the county as a business, which it is a business. And that they have done and done it very admirably over the last few years. It hasn't been easy uh, in some of these meetings that we had privately. I was the facilitator, I was the mediator, and I was the referee. And there were times where it was fist slamming on the table and some strain in the face. But by and large, it's come down to today, to a preliminary agreement. The agreement that will be signed today is a template. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a positive step in the right direction. With assistance from outlying entities, securing the need for fire service and rescue service at the airport, as well as shoring up the needs for the city of Salisbury. All of those points are mentioned within the agreement. And again, as the city grows, as the county grows, so will this uh, uh, agreement. It will be adopted and modified accordingly. But again, as I said, it's not perfect. It is a beginning. And the signatures today will consummate the concept that between the city of Salisbury and the county of Wicomico, they both are in agreement that this agreement is in the best interest for the citizens of both the city and the county. So I thank you for being here today. I'm gonna to turn it over now to County Executive, Mr. Culver. Thank you, Ernie. I would like to, again, thank you for the many breakfasts that we've had, <laughs> getting that many agendas and everything. I'm on a straight uh, weight reducing program now, but anyhow, <laughs> um, it has been. It's been long and arduous in a lot of ways, and we've, we've done some um, soul searching, and, and of course, with the things that have happened recently, it's caused everything to come to head. So we, we took it upon ourselves, and uh, with Julia's help and Wayne's help, we have met several times. Uh, matter of fact, we were meeting last Sunday afternoon, and um, it was important for both parties to, to agree to to sometimes disagree, but to agree to go on and move forward. So uh, I would like to take the time to thank Mayor Day and the City Council President Jack Heath for everything you've done in bringing this fire service agreement to, to fruition. 
Uh, also, that knowing that it has been since 2010 since this has been done, uh, I felt like good leadership and the demand of fair resolution believe one has been crafted at this time. So uh, our agreement is based on facts and fair and sustainable formula, one that protects the public and is fair and affordable to both the city and the county residents. I would like to thank members in summer here today that, that has helped us greatly coming up with the facts and the analytical data to make this possible or we would not have come to this resolution. I would like to again thank everybody here. Uh, this will both have to be uh, agreed upon by both the city council, the county council, and the fire chiefs association because you'll see we're changing some things up. But it's, it's a very positive move for Wicomico County. It's based on a formula that will go further than, than a lot of us will. It's done on a fee, fee service basis rather than a stipend as we've always done in the past. So uh, with that, I'd like to turn it over to Jay, Mayor Day, if you would. Thank you, uh, thank you, Bob, thank you, Ernie. Um, I just wanna echo what the county executive had to say. Um, how grateful I am to you and your team, Bob, and, and to Wayne. Uh, your staff um, has put a lot of hard work into this. Um, in particular, Dave Shipley and his team um, I want to thank you for all of the hard work that you put in in advising the, um, the consultants, also doing uh, a significant amount of work internally. Once the consultants were no longer uh, providing services, you and your team worked very, very hard on, on the data side of this, and uh, we want to say thank you to that. Also, thank you to the GIS uh, team at the county. Uh, we are very grateful to the work that they put into this effort. Um, I want to thank Julia, who has been on the uh, committee uh, long before she was the city administrator. She was on the committee that was negotiating uh, these efforts with the, the county. Uh, so thank you, Julia, for all you did. And, and you mentioned count, uh, Council President Jack Heath, who was also on that committee uh, for, for quite some time. Um, I want to also say that uh, the, the city and county councils um, do represent a really important part of this and any negotiation or any agreement between the city and the county. And we have sat, um, you know, many days at this table with uh, Council President Heath and uh, many other people and, and negotiated through the details of this. And um, in the last few weeks, we've um, taken that information back to the city council in closed session and talked to them about the status of the negotiations. So I want to thank Council Vice President Muir Boda, who's in the room, and uh, Councilman John Hall. Uh, from Wicomico County Council for uh, all that the two of you do. Um, also worth acknowledging the, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, uh, <laughs> Mr. Norm Conway, who is not only given, to so much, uh, given so much to this community as a, um, a city councilman, uh, not only so much as a delegate uh, and chairman of the State Appropriations Committee, but I think most importantly today as a volunteer firefighter. Um, the, I also want to thank Chief Hoppus, Chief Rick Hoppus of the Salisbury Fire Department and all of the members of the Salisbury Fire Department, um, career and volunteer, for um, all that you have contributed to this conversation. And, and I want to say that, um, once again, uh, like Bob and Ernie both said, this is an agreement that is uh, reflective of uh, two entities and, and I, I believe two leaders who recognize that the best interest of the community and the public safety of our citizens, whether inside municipal boundaries or outside, was the most important thing. And we were going to come to resolution regardless of what was on the front page of a newspaper, regardless of what was being discussed in the, on, in the press, regardless of what was being discussed on a street corner or around a, a dining room table. We were going to come to the best interest, uh, ensuring that the best interests of our citizens and their safety was protected. And I believe that's what we have here today. And the reason the city of Salisbury, let's remember, is even interested in providing services beyond its boundaries is because we believe we can provide good service to the county. And, and there are two words, uh, there were a couple, but there are two words that I think are critical that the county executive mentioned and that I believe the director of administration, Mr. Strasburg, has used time and again, that it has to be affordable and it has to be sustainable. I thought you were going to say the other two words. Oh, no, no. <laughs> not, to, not today, Bob. Uh, this is an affordable and sustainable agreement. It is something that can last for many years to come. And this is a five-year agreement. And putting this long-standing discussion to bed for five years while we can shake hands and go out there and deliver the best services to the citizens is something I think we can all be proud of and something that I am proud to sign my name to today. Um, so I want to say once again, thank you. I want to say whether it's a perfect agreement or an imperfect agreement, it's one that I think uh, protects people's best interests and protect, protects the taxpayers. And I'm proud to sign my name to it today. 
Thank you for all your work. Thank you. We appreciate it. So, well, we have Gentlemen, if you will now sign the documents, we would appreciate it. All this sign so we could have slipped something else in there. <laughs> Anybody, any other documents somebody wants us to sign? <laughs> what did you say, pay raise? <laughs> Noted. I think that. I think that's awesome. Just make sure we haven't missed any five copies. Is that what it is? Five. You all the exhibits too. There you go. Oh, okay. I'm going to Well, at this time, if anybody's got any questions, we'll try to answer whatever we can for you. So, um. Ladies and gentlemen, the city of Salisbury and Wicomico County have a sensible, serviceable signed fire service agreement. Seconds for questions. <laughs> question, Liz. Uh, somebody discussed money. Like how much? There will be some of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the county will be contributing more money every year to the city. Now? It, it's based on a formula, so um, it will be based on the number of calls per the per district, and um, there is a. Uh, a rate per fire call, a rate per non-transport call, a rate per EMS call, and there is a uh, st special operations stipend. That's the only stipend that remains at all a part of the agreement. Everything else is based on per call. Is there going to be any payment from the county towards the city for services that were previously given? Uh, we've already paid this year's fee that we've had arrangements okay. before. Sure. Oh, no. This is Seven, all about going yeah, forward. All four. 17's fee will be based on 16's calls, and 18 we base it on 17's calls. So we do always do on last year's calls. Some years it's going to go up, some years it's going to go down. So it's verifiable. So the, the number of calls that previous year mm -hmm. will determine so clean slate payment in the future. Forward, right? Clean slate yes. moving forward. Uh, what does this do for, I guess, they call themselves the corporation, the former station, one volunteers? 
Station one volunteers, or whatever number they are given by the radio committee, they are a recognized company through the state of Maryland, through Wicomico County uh, Chiefs Association, they are recognized. They will be taking care of what we hope to be the, the airport service towards, uh, they have station, these maps are up here, I guess they're gone now, I'm not sure what happened to them. You know how to get this thing going. So what that means, Julian, is the, um, you know, the, the idea that there would be a fire station on Snow Hill Road near the uh, current <coughs> station, uh, that no longer, that will no longer happen. But we're expecting them to cover that area to give services to the airport. Oh, the airport. And that's a future. That's you know, future. But we, you know, we, we're working with that now, but yes. That we're going to the airport. So is the plan starting, I guess, there in July, that July date for them to start covering the airport at that time? No. We're still working on those final details of that, yes. Okay. So, so who's covering the airport in the interim? Uh, right now it's still covered as it is. Parsonsburg. Parsonsburg. And, um, no change. Actually, Station 1 will continue to cover it until. The rural area around, even, but, but uh, Parsonsburg provides the. The airport the itself, airport yes. service mm -hmm. itself. For How much are you budgeting for fire services? This year? Yeah. Uh, 858000 No, the, the, the city's... Um, 950000 I'm sorry. No, the city, uh, what did it come to, Jake? I think that's it. 950. Like nine, 960000 It's around nine, $960,000 mm -hmm. uh, to, to the city. We are proposing in, in the budget that will come forward uh, adding uh, $45,000 a year to each one of the um, volunteer companies outside the city for uh, enhanced uh, enhanced ambulance service. And they each get 100 now? For ambulance service? No, they get... Totally. They're slightly in the volunteer level is 100? No, it's more for, than that. For what... For what aspect of service? Don't you get Pepper and Sharp Everyone's 100. They get 255,000 each. They're going to three. We're going to increase that by $45,000 to provide um, for enhanced ambulance service or to further support ambulance service. So, in, in, in round numbers, the stipend for each of the volunteer companies outside the city limits will be around $300,000. So, what will the total? Outlay be for fire uh, take 300,000 times 11 and add 950,000. That's about the best <laughs> I can come to right now. Well, yeah. I need my calculator out. Uh, in, in round numbers, it will be uh, 50. It's going to be it's about a half a million dollars more than it was last year in total. Okay, thank you very much for coming today, and we will address further questions as need be. Thank you. Thank you.